the Agile brand. Which measurement method do you need? Multi-touch attribution, incrementality modeling, or matched market testing? What if you want them all? My guest today will show you how to do just that. Welcome to One Amazing Thing About Bonsai Data Solutions. I'm your host, Greg Kilstrom, and I'd like to welcome Matt Butler, co-founder and CEO of Bonsai Data Solutions, and he will be sharing one amazing thing about Overstory. So Matt, welcome to the show. Thank you, Greg. Thanks so much for having me. and really excited to share Overstory. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward to this. I know you were on the, the Agile Brown podcast already, so you're a returning champion, so to speak. But um, looking forward to actually getting a chance to look at this, you know, firsthand. And um, and but, but before we do that, why don't you give a little background on yourself and and your role at Bonsai? Yeah, thank you. So I'm Matt Butler, uh, CEO here at Bonsai. We measure and generate incremental value with first-party data. Um, before Bonsai, I was a longtime Googler, was really uh, fortunate to be a part of the ads analytics uh, part, you know, part of their business, and then got into cloud services, and then um, left in 2020 to start Bonsai as sort of a first-party data and strategy advisory for the mid-market and enterprise. And I'm really excited today because uh, as our business and opportunities to help our, our clients have evolved, we're able to now bring to folks uh, really a unified data and measurement platform, which we call Overstory. And we think of it as sort of our client's ability to finally unlock the capabilities within their own data and drive meaningful, real measurement of marketing and then activation on top of that. Great, great. So yeah, so before you, uh, you share here, um, Who's the target audience for this? You shared a little bit about what it does, but um, you know, who's the target audience here, and um, you know, what, what, why, why is this important to them? Yeah, great question. So I would say multi-channel marketers, or really any you know consumer-facing brand or company that you know requires uh, significant media marketing or or multi-channel efforts to grow their customer base and grow profits and revenues. Um, really, all of those folks are um, are an opportunity to benefit from Overstory and from Bonsai. You know, particularly direct to consumer brands, uh, omni channel retailers, folks in media entertainment, and really any consumer facing market. Great, great. Well, yeah. Let's uh, let's take a look. Why don't you share your screen? Yeah, I'm really excited to show an example of our media mix modeling capability, which we call incrementality modeling in Overstory. So. Uh, you see here on the screen is an example of our favorite, uh, you know, demo client, Acme Electronics. Uh, so you're seeing an incrementality model result for Acme Electronics. And this is all part of the Overstory platform. It's uh, part of this kind of unified suite. So this incrementality analysis covers measuring digital, analog, uh, click-based and impression-based media. It is complemented really well with a granular set of insights from attribution analysis for digital and deterministic channels. And then for precision insights on particular tactics or channels underneath the hood of your marketing uh, portfolio, we've got a match market testing framework on our test and control page. But today I'm just here to, you know, really kind of walk through what, you know, we see as the future of media mix modeling and uh, an example analysis here for Acme um, what this represents is a total view of their entire marketing pro uh, program, like every channel that they run on, and their total business. In this case, the, the total sales that they drive for Acme Electronics. And this uh, modeling capability is the same uh, sophistication, flexibility, and, and power that you would get from kind of any media mix modeling uh, product or a kind of output from a, a data science team or, or, or research or, or measurement firm that, that typically would take, uh, you know, historically would take sometimes six to 12 months of work, both from, you know, beginning to end of, you know, data ingestion to data science, tuning, fitting, and, and so on. Our, our platform and, and the warehouse behind Overstory has, 
uh, really simplified and democratized that uh, uh, modeling and feature engineering capability so that all you really need to do is, is uh, onboard with Overstory and work with Bonsai and all of the data engineering work and, and modeling requirements to get these insights into incremental outcomes are available uh, basically, as you see here, as easy as it is to access your, your browser. So this analysis uh, breaks down the sales of Acme into the three components that we know uh, impact their business. So we have base sales. So this essentially is the core business that would occur without any marketing at all. Uh, what we call base plus sales or uh, sales that are driven by marketing investments, primarily SEO and brand paid search investments. These are driven by marketing. And so they're important and incremental, but these are typically your marketing budgets and investments that don't have any uh, opportunity uh, on top of what you're already able to capture. So these are like sort of maxed out capabilities that you want to ensure are ROI positive, but um, don't exactly present a medium mix uh, improvement or opportunity for your brand. The final group is the incremental sales that come from the rest of the marketing portfolio. So this is really where most marketers and most organizations are looking to focus, right? Like where am I spending on what channels and you know, what is the ROI that that is driving on top of my base business and how can I mix that media in a more effective way across top of funnel mid and, and bottom of the funnel channels. The bottom table here breaks that down into the different discrete parts of the investment mix for Acme. So their paid brand search program on the non-brand uh, set of keywords and terms are here at the top. Their national TV program is included, their social media display, online video, their connected television, um, some of their local cable and others, all in one interface, all in one media mix analysis and broken down so that they see very clearly what channels are driving the highest ROI and the lowest cost per sale uh, and what channels are, you know, sort of have room for improvement. Uh, that level of granularity is pretty common for modeling in general, but uh, because it's digital and uh, has essentially a, a deeper set of capabilities to dive under the hood within a channel, Overstory and the incrementality analysis projects can uh, basically go into subsets of your channels and, and break this incremental analysis down to much finer levels than uh, you typically can capture. So things like national TV can be broken down by say day part or even network, and then the different paid search and social channels can be broken down by their given platforms and, and segments. It's all visualized here in a pie chart and then exportable in a CSV. There's a lot more to show you, but I know you want to get to other demos. So I figured I will, uh, I'll pause there. Yeah. Yeah. No, the very, this is very cool. And I mean, to your point, um, I mean, first being able to see all this in one place is, is pretty amazing and um, the time at which it takes to, to get this together. Right. I mean, cause you know, you're, I've been there, I've been on, I've been on the, the request side of, Hey, I need to see this, this, and this. And then, you know, sure enough, somebody forgets to ask a question and then it takes more time, you know? So in other words, the, the speed sometimes at which to see this stuff means that marketing teams can make better decisions more quickly. Right. Yeah, thank you, Greg, for reminding me. Like the other cool feature here is you see the, the model period, right? We're looking at a, a month of performance and media impact yeah. data for Acme. And, you know, we're, we're talking about this in the summer, right? It's early uh, July, but, you know, this analysis is on the May business, right? And so um, Overstory's incrementality modeling is available essentially up to monthly frequency. And so you can get your insights in June and, and in a report in July or your insights of the business through July and in a report in August. So this is the latency that typically like these type of analyses have never had. And you're exactly right. Like getting that data with a more digital, not just set of precision, but a digital set of speed is critical for, for, you know, CMOs and their, and their folks underneath the hood trying to move money around to the best channels. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. This is, this is great to see. Well, you know, what's a potential next step for somebody using this again, the, you know, the, the speed and just the, the ability to click and drill down is, can be pretty powerful. You know, what's a, what's a potential next step for someone to do, uh, you know, using this information. 
Yeah, if this is like a challenge you're looking to solve, we're excited to talk and onboard you to, to the Overstory platform. Um, we, we've been running with our current clients for a little while now, and we've you know kind of opened the release up to everybody uh, since our, our July 8th, uh, kickoff for the Overstory tool. So if you want to connect with us, just go to bonsai.llc. Um, you should be able to access not just a way to reach out to us to request a demo of the platform for your business, but uh, you'll also be able to get a full feature demo um, credential as well. So you can play with not just the incrementality tool, but really all the tools in Overstory um, when someone in Bonsai is you know, not even there. So we've, we're making that available um, to anyone who's looking to, to connect and learn more. And yeah, we're excited to serve as many of the folks uh, and the great marketers in, in the B2C space as we can. Very cool, very cool. Well, thanks for sharing that. Um, again, I'd like to thank Matt Butler, co-founder and CEO of Bonsai Data Solutions for joining the show. You can learn more about Matt and Bonsai by following the links in the show notes. Oh,